Hey, it's NickFu2. How do you do? Today I got another review for you. Today is going to be on the uh, Trident folder. This uh, particular one is the Tiger Stripe model. So, this is the knife. It's an all Zytel handle. Uh, same steel pocket clip. Has a kind of like an axis lock. So you can see it on this one it's uh, tiger striped. Bring in the ruler. Open. It is 8 and 5 eighths inches long. The blade itself is 3.5 inches long. Uh, let's see. The serrations are just one and a quarter inches long. Closed. This is four and three quarters inches long. And at the widest point, about one and a half inches wide. So uh, this is the box that comes in from SOG. Comes in a plastic uh, sleeve with a user's guide and some uh, poster or something. Let me see what this is. I just, uh, it's an advertisement, so. Oh, this is what they call the arc actuator lock. So this knife is is assisted opening, so it's very easy to open. It's not ambidextrous. All the controls are for a right-handed user, so it's there's no release for the lock on the left side. The pocket clip is uh, unmovable for a tip-up carry for right-handed user. There's a pocket, uh, line you hold at the back. It's almost uh, fully flat ground, but this knife is already really thin throughout the entire blade. So that makes for a excellent cutting surface. Here's some uh, thin paper. This is just going to be the plain edge. So really easy to go through really thin paper. So that's just the plain edge. Let's try the serrations. See if the serrations themselves will cut. Yeah, these serrations are razor sharp. You don't even have to move the blade. If you can see that. It's going straight through the paper with these serrations. See if I saw them. Even using the, the sawing motion, it, it more cuts than rips, as with uh, some other reviews, or knives with serrations I've reviewed. So this is a really sharp knife. I've had this for probably a year now and it's still the sharp I don't use it that often but it's so very good edge quality for me and my use with it um, I have noticed that this uh, blade I don't know exactly what knife or steel it is let me look in this Oh, it's an OS8 uh, stainless steel blade. Weight says it's 3.6 ounces. Uh, I've measured it to be the same as 35, uh, 37 pennies. Sorry. So 3.6 ounces or 37 pennies. I already gave you the blade length. Um, 
it says it's also available in black, TI, or titanium nickel, or something like that. Half serrated, tiger stripe, satin straight edge, or desert camouflage. So there's different uh, variations of this folder, but it's Osate steel. But this steel, um, very good edge quality. I don't know if they, uh, what they did, how to paint this tiger stripe on it, but I have had a uh, rust on the blade, both sides. I don't know if you can see it, but there's still some residual, residual rust, even though I cleaned it off. So, if you're going to be active and have this in your pocket while you're sweating or being a salty, uh, saltwater environment, uh, don't bring this knife; it'll rust on you or uh, at least once you get it out of that environment clean it very uh, quickly uh, on this knife there is a uh, rope cutter but as of what uh, when I try to use it you have to ha have it locked this is the lock back here to, so if you're uh, handling it right is open left is locked but the rope cutter, uh, with my use, isn't very effective. Let's try some, uh, what is this, 2 millimeter uh, leather cord. Some, it says in the manual that you have to keep it on the string under tension. But... As you can see, I have to rock it back and forth. And this is... I haven't tried on webbing or anything, but... With the string, it's just... See, I've already cut it just this much. But... You can just open it up. And have this cut in... No time. There you go. As opposed to using this... Uh rope cutter uh, I have some webbing up here we go. so here's some webbing let's see how it does on uh, this stuff So, it's not cutting through it. So, this is a very effective rope cutting tool. Unless maybe it's like 550 cord under uh, tension, this might work. Otherwise, I'd just say just open it up. So, it's pretty much my take on the knife. Uh, there is jimping all around here. There's some on the bottom, on the very back, and up here on the blade itself and on the handle. There are no stainless steel liners. Well, actually there are. Sorry, my mistake. But, I don't know if you can see that. The stainless steel liners uh, are kind of awkward place. They're not full, as in they're not. They don't contour the the handle. They're mainly back here to reinforce this cutout. So I don't think there's. Yeah, I don't see any from here on this part of the knife. They're just on this part to reinforce the uh, slot for cutting. There are dual thumb studs on it, even though this is a mainly a right-handed blade. 